thanks for staying with us. So, Fola, why don't you kick us off? What did you find for us today in the news? Okay, so this news is from The Punch. It's essentially saying that a survey that was just taken told us that Nigeria is the most, second most malnourished country in the entire world. Whoa. We went from 7% of children being malnourished to about 12%, which is actually abysmal. Wow. <laughs> 7 to 12%. 5% difference. That's crazy. And we're worse off than people that are in war. War torn countries, yeah. yeah. How are we second to last? I was yeah. like, I'm actually just dipping it right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, it's like malnourishment, and then we are told to have like a balanced diet and stuff but because yeah. of Nigeria's like survival situation that we need a lot of energy so we're always piling on carbs yeah. and things like that so we don't have that balanced diet yeah. at all so I, I don't I think malnourishment would be likely it's understandable but with yeah. all of our resources doesn't that, doesn't that like Shock us. Yeah. It's, it's it says something. Big on agriculture. agriculture and yeah. everything. Yeah, but yeah. we're also the same people that are importing things that we're locally growing. Oh, yeah. Why mm. is Nigeria importing rice? Why are we <laughs> no, importing yeah. tomatoes? Thank you. Thank it you. doesn't make Thank sense you. if we have the ability to grow these things and to help our community so that we're not malnourished. Yeah. Why are we importing it? That's why that's why the Naira is going up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Every problem comes back to that question. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why the Naira is going up. Anyway, I'll talk to me what did you find for us in the news all right so my news is taking from the vanguard mm. and it says alleged 6.9 billion naira fraud in mifili's fresh arraignment stored so the scheduled arraignment of the suspended governor of the central bank of nigeria cbn godwin emifili on a french 20 counts charge was on thursday stored owing to the absence of one of the defendants in the case even though the embattled as well CBN boss appeared before the Federal Capital Territory High Court sitting at Maitama to enter his plea to the first charge against him. However, the court was told that the second defendant, Sadat Yaro, was unavailable. <laughs> so, no, the money that we're talking about mm -hmm. is 6.9 billion naira. I know that there are many people in this country that if they had that kind of money, you would never see them again. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I, I understand how this has become such a big problem. And then it's the fact that our own financial figurehead in the country, mm. the CBN governor himself, he's the one that is being charged with this kind of a fraud. Yeah. Apparently, he was there present for his own arraignment. But then I guess one of the other defendants didn't show up. If I'm being honest to myself, if I'm being honest to you, I don't think that was a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Because they have made it in such a way that they can absorb themselves of all the blame yeah. by pinning it on someone else mm -hmm. for that trial case to not happen in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, okay, did this happen by accident? Or was this planned? Did someone make it so that this person was unavailable? Apparently, her alibi is that she is sick and she's trying to recover. But how many people are sick in Nigeria? <laughs> It's never one plus one. It's, 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 it's speaking. So if they're trying to delay that, um, what do you call it, arraignment mm -hmm. for as long as possible, maybe they're trying to figure out a way to stop what is coming to them from coming. But I think they have to face the music. Yeah, 100%. definitely. Everybody needs to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, Peter. Um, so I'm taking my news from the punch. Fuel price hike triggers panic buying in Lagos. Mm. <laughs> Fears that petrol prices may soon be reviewed upward have made motorists in Lagos engage in panic buying of the product. There have been speculations that all marketers were planning to hike petrol prices from the current 670 naira to 720 naira per Jesus. liter. <laughs> the continued depreciation of the naira and rising crude oil price in the international market were said would trigger the price review. According to reports, all marketers on Sunday in indicated that the cost of premium motor spirit, properly called pet petrol, yeah. would rise to between 680 per litre and 720 per litre in the coming weeks, should the Naira weaken to 950 per dollar Jesus. from 910 at oh. the parallel market. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> fuel pressure. in this country is crazy. There was one Sunday that we were supposed to go to the mainland mm. yeah. and come back. And the lines for the fuel, I promise you, it reached from um, around that um, Alorunda side all the way to the Third Mainland Bridge because of fuel. It's so crazy. And then we also, like we were saying, it goes back to the dollar. Yeah. Why, why is Naira 910? <laughs> why is the Naira 910? And what's even really interesting is that this is like the third time that we've had a What's in the News segment that somebody's talking about 
fuel and petrol. Mm. So it's like the problem just keeps coming recurring. back to back. Wow. <sighs> Anyways, like we we're talking about agriculture in the beginning, farmers express hope over newly appointed agric ministers, renaming of ministry. So this was contained in a, in a statement signed by the president, AFAN, Ark Ibrahim Kabir, while maintaining that the country is supposed to be self-sufficient in most food value chains. He said, the president's decision to rename the Federal Ministry on Agriculture and Rural Development as Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, MAFS, speaks volumes of the administration's desire to make Nigeria food secure within a short time. Mm. Let's stay optimistic with this, guys. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully the excitement is not for any like kind of... Mm. <laughs> yeah, so we're not going to get disappointed here. In lighter news, it's National Thrift Shop Day. Yeah. This day is all about supporting local thrift shops and raising awareness for charitable organizations. Thrift shops aim to help those most vulnerable in communities and give back to the needy. So, after you're done watching this episode, please finish watching the episode. Why don't you visit your nearest thrift store and treat yourself to some vintage goodies? Mm. What's, what do you guys think about this thing? I love thrift <laughs> I'm on vintage every single hour of the day. I don't know. Other people's clothes. like No. It, obviously, they wash it and they, you know, everything before they put it on the racks and stuff. Back, like, back when I was in school, uh -huh. thrifting was the go-to. Because you'd go to shops like Zara, you'd go to shops like Mango, and, like, a shirt is... <laughs> guys, it's, it's economy. It's, honestly, <laughs> this economy. So, especially is for, expensive especially expensive for well. youth, especially for oh. people like us, like students... It's really good for like us to be able to go to a place and be able to find trendy outfits for such a low price. Yeah, and then also again, sorry to cut, cut <laughs> you off. Um, I have my condition. <laughs> we get it from our parents. Myself and my brother, we have unusually large feet. So it's like, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> and then the thing is, to get shoes is always a problem. I'm mm. lucky for my parents, my feet have stopped growing. <laughs> but like before, every single new school term is always new you're shoes. growing your like clothes mm. and you're growing your shoes. And then if you go back to those places like the Zara, like you're saying, it's going to be hell just to get yourselves clothes that you can actually yeah. use. So when situations like that happen, these people are just here to come and save the day. Definitely. And also, I guess I'm grateful for them. Yeah. Also, it's like, the amount of waste produced from overbuying mm. or produced goods. So even if you have like uh, a lot of clothes in your wardrobe and you're looking for a place to donate it, thrift stores are there for you. You can give your clothes there to help other people who can't afford yeah. the clothes. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'm convinced. So I hope they have managed to convince you and not confuse you. <laughs> See you after the break. Okay.